Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. So here we are in Sunnydale. Last time, we took on uh, the legendary beasts as we helped Professor Aspen research them, and then reunite with her son, who turned out to be Professor Palm. This time, we're going to do some uh, battles with some strong trainers around the game. Now, basically, every gym leader can be rematched. And we will eventually battle all the gym leaders again in their, rematch, in their respective rematches. But there's also a bunch of other boss trainers. First of all, all of the former gym leaders... Um, from past games are also rebattleable, with the exception of um, the in the second time you face the first gym in Polka Aqua 2, um, you will still be able to battle the main gym leader, but not the one that replaced them temporarily during the uh, the time change. But other than that. Pretty much every gym leader from Polka Aqua 1 and Polka Aqua 2 are rematchable. So, or should I say battleable, since you didn't really battle them during the main game in this game. So, we're going to go battle them. So, the first one we're going to battle is here in Sunnydale. Hello, I'm Rupert Giles. I used to run the Sunnydale gym. As a former watcher, I have helped save the world more than once. Did you mean to challenge me to a battle? Sure. Would you prefer a single battle or a double battle? Now, since he used to actually be a, uh, a gym leader, he actually does offer you the single or double option. So, just like just like any gym leader. Not every single non-gym leader trainer will do that, but in this case he does. So, in this case, I am going to go either. I'll let the game decide. Very well. Remember, all life starts with water. Controlling it can become essential in training. Shall we begin? Alright, so here we go. So with that, we are challenged by former leader Giles. Alright, so... Let's zing zap. Alright, uh... It is outspeeding us. That does suck. There's really no getting around that. And it crits! Alright, that's that's not a great way to start things, I suppose, is it? Let's bring the goat in. The goat definitely doesn't want to take a blizzard, though. Alright, let's leaf blade. Alright, we are outspeeding here. Can we crit? Can we get a crit? Show me the crit. Show me a crit here, game. Come on. Let's go! We got the crit! Alright. Beautiful. So Kyogre is down. The problem is, our problems are just starting because the Kyogre sets up the rain. Now, Giles' team is a threat. Because now, alright, we are out speeding. A bunch of his Pokemon have Swift Swim. And in the rain, that becomes a problem. Alright, we are going to one shot the Lapras. Awesome. Next up is Ludicolo. Uh, let's go into Entei EX. We can go for Aeroblast. Alright, let's do that. Alright, come on game, show me the crit. Show me a crit. I believe. Alright, we didn't even need a crit. Okay. You know what? Perfect. Enta EX through to level 95. Wants to learn ancient power. Don't mind if I do. Alright, do we really need Thunderbolt? I don't think we need Thunderbolt, come to think of it. Not that we really need Psychic either. Hmm. I'm going to drop Thunderbolt for now. I could relearn it. Um, 
it's definitely a possibility, but... Alright, next up is Swampert. Okay, that does get Swift Swim, so we could see some trouble here. Um... Alright, so the goat, you just need to land a Leaf Blade, and that should KO. Alright, we are letting the Leaf Blade. That is good. Alright, let's do this. And that is gonna KO. Alright, so Swampert is down. Next up is gonna be Mantine. Alright, um... You know what would've been nice? Thunderbolt. Rip. Alright, so I'm gonna go into Entei EX to go for Ancient Power, I guess. Let's do it. Let's just do this. Let me get a boost. No boost. Alright. Oh no, please don't get a boost. Don't boost. Do not boost. Alright, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. No one's getting boosts here. Alright, come on. If we can get the KO with a boost, that would be really nice right here. There's the KO. But no boost. Okay, sadness. Alright, next up is Kingra. I guess we bring in purple? Actually, let's bring in who? Who can Moonblast? Alright, Kinker is obviously going to have a steel move, but if we can KO it fast enough, that shouldn't matter. Alright, here we go. And... Doesn't get the KO. There is the Meteor Mash. It's going to hurt. No question. And it got the boost. Alright. Well, he's gonna heal. We can get a crit or a high roll. Assuming we got a low roll the last time, we should be able to KO it. If it was an high roll the last time, and we get a low roll, maybe it won't get into healing territory. Let's see. So, let's go for the Moonblast, and it does about the same. Alright. He's gonna keep on healing, isn't he? Alright, I'm gonna go for Giga Drain this time, because Giga Drain plus the Moonblast will KO... This way we also get a little bit of health back. Not that it matters at this point, because I'm pretty sure this is his final Pokemon. Alright. Uh, okay. I'm not sure. Did that do enough? Well, either way, we're going to Moonblast now. Let's take down this Kingdra. Perfect. Okay, so Kingdra is down. And with that, we defeated Giles. Marvelous work. Very well done. You are truly powerful. In fact, I think you would have made a great Watcher. Alright. Cool. So with that, we defeated Giles. Alright. Fair enough. That being said, let's go to let's go to San Francisco. I don't want to go to Lednet's PC. I want to go to my own PC. I'm going to deposit some stuff here because we don't really need all of this stuff. First of all, we don't really need extra space fries. I don't think. Um. I'm not really using these coffees. I can always take the reverse stones out, I suppose, if I need them. Alright. Also, you know what? Might want to heal up. Okay. You know what? That's fine. We're in the Tanner house. Um...
Let's go heal up. Honestly, I just need some speed. It's one thing to suspect what Prue's secret was. Another thing to actually see with my own eyes. What? Dude, I think you're... Glitching out a bit. Alright. Um... Hmm. You got it, dude. Yeah, alright. Alright, that being said, <laughs> not gonna lie and say everything is always perfect. Besides, um, we are actually in an update. Uh, this actually is, I realized last time, that we were using the non-updated game. It is, it has updated to version 1.3. Um, that, all, that includes several new palettes as well, oh, new custom shiny palettes, as well as... Uh, the addition of some new Pokemon, including some Pokemon from Paldea. Notably, Cyclozar, Maridon, Coridon, uh, Fido, and, and Dashmun, as well as uh, Finizen and Palafin. So those Pokemon are now available in Oak Aqua 3, assuming it's updated. So, just a note there. Uh, so we now are, and so we now are updated there. But that being said, let's do this. Hello, did you know I used to be the San Francisco Pokemon gym leader? Remember a challenger who looked a lot like you? You must be related. Anyway, you must be having quite the adventure. I probably do some exploring. I'm exploring myself, but I have school, dance lessons, and my family. In the gym, I use fire type Pokemon to represent my passion for battling. Putting out even a small flame is easier said than done. Hey, how about a battle? You prefer single or double? Let's go either. You can choose. Very well. Show me what you've got. All right, here we go. Another former gym leader, this time from Polka Aqua 1. So, Stephanie. She's opting for the double battle. Interesting. All right, so the goat is going to have some trouble here, I would imagine. But we can Ancient Punch on the ho -Oh and let's... I mean, what is the goat even? We do have chlorophyll, so I mean, we do have chlorophyll, but everything's resisted by. I'm gonna meteor mash on this nine tails and. All right, hello outspeeds. It's gonna go for the sacred fire. That is gonna burn probably. That's e that's definitely gonna hurt. I'm sorry, the goat. You're gonna take. You're gonna have to take one for the team here. That is gonna oak out. All right. Unfortunately, the goat did have to take one for the team, but that does give us a safe switch into Entei X. Unfortunately, though, with the sun up, that does kind of weaken its water type moves. But we do have ancient power now, so that could work out for us. Ancient punch should be able to take out the Hello. Actually, it is quite effective. Do we get a boost? We got the boost. Let's go. All right. Unfortunately, though, that Ninetales is going to get a free attack now. But Ho is down. So Stephanie is bringing in Dynabear. Alright, please don't burn. Please don't burn. Okay, so... Something is going to be able to attack us, unfortunately. Let me get that Dynabear out of here. Uh, let's... Let's tag team on the Dynabear. Because Ninetales doesn't take out Hungry. If we can get double boost, that would be nice. No boost on Entei EX. This is going to take out the Dynabear, though. Okay. Dynabear's down. No boost. Alright. That's unfortunate. But, Stephanie's going to bring an Arcanine, which actually is... That kind of sucks. It does Intimidate Hungry, so we're not even at plus one attack now. Alright. Ninetales is going to go for Psychic on Entei EX. You know what? As long as it doesn't Spideff drop, we should be... And of course you got the Spideff drop. Why wouldn't you get the Spideff drop? Alright. Um... Arcanine must go, because 
Otherwise, Entei EX is going to take a Zing Zap to the face. If we can get a boost here, I'd very much appreciate it. We are getting the boost. Okay. Beautiful. And now, as long as Hungry goes before Arcanine, Arcanine goes down. There we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And we're getting the boost. Okay. Alright, next up is Vulcanian. Alright, we should be able to take the Psychic, because it's not... Uh, yeah, alright. Because I got rid of our Spideff drop. Okay, so now... I'm going to Zing Zap on the Vulcanian. I'll Ancient Power on the Ninetales. So this will take out Vulcanian, no question. Alright, so Vulcanian is down. And bring in her final Pokemon, which is Bell Awesome. Okay. So Ancient Power on the Ninetales. That does... Not a KO, though. Psychic will take out Entei EX. That's, you know... And it's a crit. The crit didn't matter, let's be honest. But let's be real. Alright, I'm gonna bring Who in. Okay, so at this point, she's gonna heal the Ninetales. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I I'm gonna... Actually, unpayday on the Nine Tails then, because it's going to be healed anyway. Um, Luster Purge on the Bell Awesome. See what damage we can do. Unpayday will 100% take out the Nine Tails. It's super effective. It's stab. It's we're boosted. It's a base 200 power move. There is a zero percent chance that Nine Tails takes us. But the Bell Awesome is going to take a Luster Purge. So Nine Tails is down. Unless we, like, crit or something. Even a crit, I don't think, kills at this point. Uh, it does do some damage. I only got the spit after up, but... Alright, unpaid is neutral. Alright. We're fine. Doesn't even matter, because... Alright, you are gonna heal from the coffee or smoothie, whatever. Alright, same thing. Essentially the same thing. Alright, let's unpayday and Luster Purge. Who going first? Although with the Spit F drop, that's a good question. Does Luster Purge actually KO now with the with the Spit F drop? I don't think it quite does. Yeah, it doesn't, but unpayday will finish it. Okay, we're good. So with that we defeated Stephanie. How rude. I'm just kidding, you won fair and square. All right. You're way too powerful. I wonder if there's anyone stronger than you out there. Well, perhaps. Perhaps there is. But, I guess we might as well go find some more trainers to battle. Let's go to Santa Barbara. Alright, let's heal up. So, a long time ago on our, on our adventure, toward the beginning in fact, we actually helped the police with an investigation. But, uh, we were helping out as well uh, the uh, psych, private psychic detective agency. So, you know, it makes sense that uh, we can go actually meet up with Sean. I'm having a vision. I see balls. They're white and I'm getting ice cream with a cherry on top. Cherry, no red. Red and white balls. That's it. You're a Poke Collector. I think you mean a Pokemon trainer, Sean. I've heard it both ways. Oh, wait. You're that trainer who helped us over on the beach. How would you like to battle? Sure. Just so you know, you can't possibly win. I already know which moves you'll use. 
Sean, there's no way you do. Only one way to find out. Let's go. Alright. So, with that, we are challenged by Sean. Now, although Sean is not... Uh, has never been a gym leader in Polka Aqua, uh, he actually was a gym leader in Grass Jewel 2. Fun fact. Alright, so... His team is kind of based on that team. Of course, that's in a separate universe altogether. We got the flinch on Blastoise. That is quite nice. Let's get another Zing Zap down. And Blastoise is down. Alright, awesome. Next up is Empoleon. Alright, so let's go for the Zing Zap here. So once again, we're just going to keep going with the same thing. Flinch. Alright, we're not getting the flinch this time. It's going to land the Earthquake. That is going to hurt. No question. I think we can take it though. It's not Stab. But it's a crit. Okay. That, that crit... That, that does hurt. There's no question. Crits, they hurt. That is most unfortunate. Alright, Ziggy. Let's do this. Unfortunately, it does have the split splim, which means it's probably going to outspeed us, which does suck. Depending on the protect. It's going for Meteor Mash. That's interesting. It's an interesting call. I guess it's Stab and Neutral. It's going to hurt. All right, it didn't get the boost, but it did KO us. That is unfortunate. All right, let's bring the goat in. Okay. Swip Swim is a threat. No question. All right, let's Earthquake. Okay, we are going first here. We're landing the Earthquake, and Empoleon's going down. All right. Cool. Next up is Ludicolo. Let's bring Entei EX in here. Alright, so... I guess we Aeroblast? That seems like the logical move here. And this is going to get the KO. All right, Ludicolo is down. All right, next up is Espeon. All right, uh, for Espeon... I mean, I guess we can go into purple and crunch. I guess that's the play. So, all right, here we go. Unfortunately, we are wasting an Intimidate on a special attacker, but, you know, whatever it takes to get the KO here, I suppose. So we're landing the Crunch. It is a physical attack. It's not getting the KO, though. We got the defense drop. He's going to heal anyway, so if we live... That is an Ice Beam, though. If we live this Ice Beam by some miracle, which I don't, we're not going to. It's a special attack quad effector from an Espeon. We're not taking it. Uh, <gasps> we're taking it! He's going to heal, which means we get the KO. With the defense drop. Let's go! Espeon is down. I should have gone for Ancient Punch here. Absolutely no reason for me not to have, so that that was a misplay. We are going to get the KO, though. Alright. So Espeon is down. Purple is going to grow to level 95. Next up is Inteleon. Alright, let's bring the goat in. All right. I mean, detective makes sense. All right. 
Leaf Blade. Come on, let's get a crit here. Actually, you're pretty frail, right? No, not frail enough. Unpaid, eh? Okay. That hurts a little. Alright. Wait a minute, that is... That is a smoothie. Does that fully heal you? I don't think that fully heals you. It doesn't, so Leaf Blade takes you out. So actually, that works out perfectly. Because that gets you out of healing range, and now Leaf Blade takes you down. Perfect. When Teleon is down, next up is Mimikyu. Uh... Well, I guess Meteor Mash? I mean, let's be honest, purple's probably going down. I can't imagine Meteor Mash actually getting the KO here, but you never know. You never really know, I suppose. There we go. Could always crit, but either way, pretty sure, yeah, purple's going down. Unpaid A, all right, purple, yeah, you gave it your all, you know, as long as you did your best, you should have no regrets, all right. Okay, so to finish this, let's meet your mash. The goat does still have the meteor mash, so I mean, you know, still an option. Here we go. Assuming, assuming we can outspeed this thing, we are golden. No boost right there, so if he heals, uh, he will live another one unless we get a crit. So, there's the heal, here's the Meteor Mash, do we crit? But once again, it really doesn't matter, it's just a matter of time at this point. He's got a high roll, but once again, he's gonna heal. So, the fact is we need to crit the KO, even a high roll does not do the trick. The only silver lining is there's only... There's only four healing items. So there's only four full restores. So he can't really spam them for too long. And there's the crit. Mimic you is down, and with that we defeated Sean. Wow, he has some serious talent as a Pokemon trainer. Plus, you're clearly very deserve I'm observant in battle. Okay, you won. Okay, so I didn't win battle. That doesn't mean I'm not the strongest. Besides, I've solved more crimes than I can count. Because, because I've solved a lot of crimes, not just because I can't count very high. Fair enough. So with that, we did it. You heard about Pluto? Messed up, right? Okay, so moving right along. Let's go to Los Angeles. It's a lot faster to heal from a Chansey than it is to heal from a Pokemon Center. So, here we go. You know, we're going to come back here. Angel Investigations, we help the helpless. They can't fire me. I'm Vision Girl. I mean, he'll do anything to save a life. Aha. Uh -huh. We will be back there. So, do not worry about that. But what we want to do is we actually want to go to the Pokemon Center. Hello. Hi there. You're that kid who was working with Angel, right? You know, I used to work with Angel and Cordelia with helping the ho uh, hopeless while getting stronger. In fact, I used to be a Los Angeles' gym leader. Oh, would you like to battle me? Sure. Do you prefer a single battle or a double battle? I'll let you choose. Very well. Now, let me see what you're made of. 
All right, so with that, we are challenged by Los Angeles' former gym leader, Doyle. All right, so he's opting for the double battle. So I see the Luxray and the Umbreon. We are going to get intimidated right off the bat. So that's a bit unfortunate because we do have two physical attackers. All right, um... You know what? How do we want to do this? I'm going to Pixie Kick on you, and I'm going to Cross Chop on you. Now, actually, yeah, on you. Luxray is going to outspeed, though. That's unfortunate. And you got the defense drop. That sucks. All right, here's the Cross Chop. If we can get the crit here, I think we take out the Umbreon. If not, we don't even come close. Yeah, it didn't even come close. Pixie Kick, we can't get a flinch anyway because it outsped us, so, you know, that sucks. Umbreon is going to go for the Toxic. All right. Looks like stall to me. Leading off with the bulk. You know what? Alright, I'm gonna Ancient Punch right now. I might end up regretting this decision, but... How much is this? Does this... Do we take this? We don't. Okay. That is most unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna go into Ziggy here. At least we get the uh, speed boost. Okay, Ancient Punch. Do we get a boost here? Alright, we are getting the boost. That does get us some bulk. We are we are plus zero attack. So, that kind of sucks for us. But... Oh, no. Okay. The Omni Boost, I don't appreciate it. I don't appreciate the Omni Boost. Okay, so, Umbreon's gotta go. I'm fairly certain that the uh, Luxray has Icicle Crash, though, so, um, that's a problem. Okay, uh, we are getting crunched. Oh my goodness, that does damage. Okay. Uh, bring Entei EX in. Luxray is gonna destroy me, though. Because Luxray does have... Oh, boy. Alright, we got the flinch on Umbreon. Yeah, we have a problem. Okay. We need to outspeed and we need to land this. Zing Zap? Yeah, Entei EX is going down. I should have switched. Okay. I should have brought Entei EX in before and then hard switch into Ziggy so Luxray couldn't attack us. I mean, let's just say mistakes were made. I think we can all agree mistakes were made. That Luxray is way, is doing way too much work. Are you kidding me? And through all of this, the Umbreon is just setting up. Oh my god. Okay. Um... This is a problem. Alright. Uh, let's... I, I don't even know what to do here. I guess... Take out the Luxray and... Then deal with the Umbreon. Umbreon's a problem, but... That Luxray is also a problem. 
Okay, Moonblast should get to the point where hopefully Ancient Punch can take it out. All right, it, I don't care for the special attack. Ancient Punch, can this... I don't think this KOs. It does not. We did get the boost, though. And he's probably going to heal again. So... Let's... Although, plus two, now the Umbreon set up. All right, we are living. Okay. Now the question is... All right. I'm going to Moonblast on... Okay, we are going to take out the Lux right now. And we're getting the boost. Okay, that is actually really good. So that brings us the plus two attack, plus three everything else. We're going to get... A Moonblast on the Umbreon, unless it outspeeds us. Yveltal is coming in. Alright, that kind of that intimidation does kind of suck, though. Alright, here's the Moonblast. Umbreon's going to eat that, which means Unpaid is going to take out who? That, that's a problem. That's definitely a problem. Now... He's going to heal the Umbreon. Okay. The way he takes out Hungry is going to be Toxic Stall. He's going to heal up the Umbreon, which means I want to take out Yveltal. Before he can do that. So we're going to... He didn't heal. I'm actually shocked. All right, but I think the double Ancient Punch should take out Yveltal. And we're getting the boost there. That is actually really nice. Okay, purple. Can you go first? All right, there's the Ancient Punch. We need this to KO. And it does. With the boost. All right, we're on our last two Pokemon, so this is where it really matters. Getting that extra Spadef is going to let us take it on Payday. Because Umbreon is not going to go for Hungry. It's going to go for Purple. Alright, Zoroark is coming in. Okay, you're going to go for the Toxic. Alright, if our health comes too far down, I need to go for the Heal. But I can't heal yet. Okay, so... Pixie Kick on you, and Ancient Punch on you. Let's get a boost. We did not get the boost there. Pixie Kick should take out Umbreon, though. Because we are boosted as well. There we go. Umbreon's down. Okay. Ursa Ring is coming in, which... Interestingly, it goes for Unpayday on Hungry, who can easily take that. Now, Ursaring scares me. Ursaring does terrify me. Alright, let's Pixie Kick and... Uh, I guess Dragon Claw. Ursaring has to go. Ursaring has to go. Because Huge Power is going to do too much damage. Alright. So, there we go. Alright, Ursaring is down. A crit. I mean, I guess it would have mattered if we if it was a full health, but Dragon Claw nearly took it down anyway. Ursaring's down, and in comes Hoopa. Okay, Zoroark has Blizzard. I was not thinking about that. We do have boosted Spadaf, and it does hit both targets, so we are going to take it. Just don't freeze. Alright. Um, okay, let's get rid of Zoroark first of all. I would have rather Dragon Claw actually gotten rid of the Zoroark, but whatever. In hindsight, I don't think Hoopa takes out both. 
Okay, so purple is down. Now, the unfortunate thing is that also means it's a 1v1. Okay, so I'm going to put all of my faith in Hungry to take a hit. Hungry has to take a hit now. Because if Hungry goes down, we lose. Okay, it's going for Unpayday, Day, which means it doesn't have anything better, probably. So we should be good to just actually, um... I guess we can Pixie Kick, since it's super effective. If it's going for Unpayday, Day, we win. That's, that's, that. We're good. This is a good position to be in now. Beautiful. Alright, so with that, Hoopa is down. And we defeated Doyle. That really did come down to the wire, though. Whoa, wow, you made such a, be a much better challenge than I expected. Great job. Okay, you've got me. At least now I know not to bet against you. Wow, you're impressive. Here, please take this thing I found outside. So with that, we obtained the Voodoo Doll. I wonder what Angel and Cordelia are up to. Alright. So by battling some of these post-game trainers, you do get some really nice items that do, bo that do boost um, specific types. So in his case, since he's a dark type trainer, the item he gives you is the Voodoo Doll, which boosts dark type moves. Uh, the Ancient Wing we got from Professor Aspen, not from battling, but from completing that arc, uh, and that boosts flying-type moves. Now, some of these items also are important to have because they allow you to access certain legendary Pokémon, especially if um, accessing specific areas. Like, for instance, the Book of Rail lets us access um, that room in the back of Meteor Falls. So, it's quite useful to have. Alright, yes, I would like to go somewhere. Let's go to... Uh... Where can we go? You know what, let's actually stay here for right this second. There's a couple more battles for us to do here. We're going to actually head down into this bunker. Because there's some uh, trainers here that are just waiting for us to battle them. Hey, what are you doing in our bunker? Oh, would you like to battle? Alright, let's begin. Alright, let's do this. So with that, we are challenged by Trainer Lucy. So this is the bunker from Timeless. Alright, let's go for the Zing Zap here. All right, we got the flinch. Awesome. All right, let's go for another one then. All right, so Primarina is down. Next up is Lapras. Okay, perfect. We can just stay in and we'll go for... Let's do the same thing. If we get it down low enough, I can go for the Ancient Punch to finish it because it's super effective. It's not stabbed though. Um, there's the flinch. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. I think this should do enough. Alright, does KO, and we get the boost. Uh, that is, that really couldn't go much better. Full health and plus one Omni boost. Alright, next up is Aerodactyl. Alright. That's fine, we can zing zap. Hungry might just be able to sweep through this team. Because this should at plus one take out the Aerodactyl. It's not it's not the it's not especially bulky. Alright, next up is Tropius. Okay, now we're now we're facing a bit of an issue, aren't we? Shiny. Alright, let's zing zap. Got the flinch. Beautiful. Alright, now it's Ancient Punch. It's super effective. It's, so it should do more than Zing Zap. And 
we got the boost. All right, beautiful. I think Hungry should be able to secure the sleep now. So Tropius is down. Next up is Diancy. All right. Um. Oh, Zing Zap. And we got the flinch. All right, she is 100% going to heal, which means I guess the ideal thing is just Ancient Punch because we can get the boost and then Zing Zap KOs next turn anyway. So uh, we're obviously not going to go for Unpayday because it's resisted. So Zing Zap is our best option as it is Stab. Unless actually Ancient Punch KOs... If Ancient Punch gets the KO, there's literally no reason not to go for it. Okay, it didn't get the boost this time, but that's fine. So Dialga is coming in. Ooh, Primal Dialga. All right. Let's Pixie Kick. It's a neutral attack. It'll do some damage. It got the flinch. Now unpayday to finish it. And with that, we are taking down Lucy. Wow, your strength might just make you stand out in history. Alright. You really are talented, aren't you? Hey, have you ever had a secret that just scares the living hell out of you? No. Oh, hey! Why are you here? Did you want to battle or something? Sure. Great, let's do this. Alright, so next up we're going to battle Wyatt. Okay, so... Leading off with Greninja. Alright, let's zing zap. Nice and stab, super effective. Doesn't quite KO. It's an electric type now, but we got the flinch. All right, so now Ancient Punch should be just enough to finish it at this point. It is not. All right, uh, and we didn't even get the boost. Oh my god, all right. If you get the boost here, I swear. Okay. So now he's going to heal. He's going to heal. I'm going to go for unpaid, eh? That does suck. I risked it, and it didn't work out. That's just life sometimes. Okay, so... Alright. So we know that Ancient Punch won't KO, so let's Pixie Kick. It's super effective now. That'll take out the Ninja. All right, so Greninja is down. Okay, next up is Snorlax. Um, going to the goat. Let's cross chop. It is a bulky Pokemon, but. If we can get a crit here, I think we take it out with a physical attack. It does not. Okay, we're about to take a cross chop of the face. It's not stab, so we actually should take it if it doesn't crit. We definitely don't take it if it's a crit, though. Alright, no, we're not taking it. Okay. Well, did I mention that Snorlax does hit like a truck? Alright, we'll bring in Ziggy here. And go for a cross chop. That'll finish it. Okay. So Snorlax is down. Next up is Palkia. Well. I guess we bring in who? We can go for the Moonblast. Because Palkia has two weaknesses. Alright. Alright. 
So, Moonblast, and... Alright, that doesn't KO. Alright. Hydro Pump, we should be able to take it, though. Alright, we are taking it. So now it's Moonblast again. So, I mean, I get the Palkia is also weak to Salamence, but, you know, this way at least we, uh, we do it. All right, special attack drop, that's actually quite nice. Another Moonblast, I'll take out Palkia. All right. You see, what can I say, Wyatt? You got the wrong Legendary from Sinnoh. That's just, that's just how it works sometimes. Next up is Magirna. Uh... I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Bringing Ziggy in because Ziggy is weak to is weak to Fairy, but we do get to Earthquake. Maybe I should have gone for Rock Slide. Although we can still flinch, we can still get a flinch here. It's possible. It is possible. We got the flinch. Let's go. All right, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, the space fries coming through. All right, so we're going to land the earthquake here. McGearn is down. We're just getting faster, and we outspeed. We go for earthquake, it's to a KO. Perpetually, we outspeed, so we're always going to get two Earthquakes before it can attack, because if it's going to heal. So, we're good. Ziggy's grown to level 96. Next up is Flygon. Really no reason to switch right now. Okay, we're getting the speed boost. Let's Rock Slide. Switch like a bug. Alright. Now, we should be able to easily get a flinch here because it's a flinching move and we have the space fries, but we're not getting the flinch this time. How is it we got the flinch with Earthquake but not with Rock Slide? The unfortunate thing about Ziggy is Ziggy is very frail. That's the, uh, that is the sad truth here. Alright, purple. You land a Dragon Claw and the Flygon goes down. Although, actually, Ancient Punch is the better option here because it is super effective. It should still get the KO at this point, but we have the chance of the boost. And we get it. Alright. Always go for the Omni Boost move if it, if it clinches the KO. If it'll get the KO, there's never a reason not to go for it. Typhlosion, alright, we can stay in. Stab, super effective Dragon Claw, and that'll be game. Because there is no way you don't take a plus one Dragon Claw from a Salamence. There is no way you don't that you take this. Let's go. Typhlosion is down. And with that, we defeated Wyatt. Great job. You really know what you're doing in battle, don't you? Yes, I do. What can I say? How did you get to be so strong? Whatever you're doing, keep it up. Alright, well, now I actually do want to heal up. I'm going to heal up a couple Pokemon. Alright, also, you know what? I'm just going to max revive. I know that I can revive and... Then Max Potion or Hyper Potion um, our Pokemon, but you know what? Whatever. We have plenty of Max Revives. We have plenty of money. There's really no reason to really hoard them at this point. So, here we go. We're going to battle a former Elite Four member. Hello. Though I am the pilot of the lifeboat, a couple of years ago I couldn't pass up the opportunity to become a member of the, of the Pokemon League Elite Four. Though I'm no longer part of the Elite Four, I still enjoy a good battle from time to time. Hey, how would you like to battle me? Great. Let's make this a truly electrifying match. Alright, so with that, 
we are challenged by former Elite Four member Rufus. Alright, so he's leading off with the Emolga. So, Pika Clone versus Pika Clone. Alright, right off the bat, going for the Blizzard. Does outspeed. If it gets the freeze, we're in trouble. We got the freeze. Come on. Fall out. Come on! Alright. Alright, 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 alright. That's You know what? That's okay, that's okay. That's okay. If we don't fall out this turn, I heal. If we don't fall out... Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright. You're gonna go for another blizzard, aren't you? Yuppers. Okay. I bet you freeze again. I bet you get another freeze on us. See? I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Delaying another blizzard. I mean, eventually you'll run out of them. Come on. It's not Gen 1. You can fall out. Okay. Are you serious? What is this? Literally every single time it gets the freeze. Alright, we don't even stand a chance if we can't. Alright, we thought out. Come on. We need a boost now. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. <gasps> we got a crit! And the boost! Let's go! Alright. So with that, we are taking down Emolga. Next up is Verizian. Alright, I guess we'll stay in. Okay, um... I'm gonna go for Pixie Kit. Oh, great. It outspeeds. I should have healed. Although it did get the crit, so it probably would have KO'd us anyway. Not a whole lot I could do about that, I suppose. Alright, Aeroblast. It is connecting. Quad effective. I think we take it out. I think even without a crit, I think we take out Verizian. Beautiful. Alright, so Verizian is down. And and to EX is growing to level 96. Next up is Heliolisk. You're definitely not staying in for this one. That is certainly not what's happening here. Okay, so now... What's Earthquake? Really no reason not to Earthquake. And that'll take out the Heliolisk. Okay, next up is Zekrom. Alright. Let's do the same thing. Doesn't KO. You're landing your Dragon Claw, I'm pretty sure that kills then. That should KO. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should consider changing Ziggy's form. <laughs> Just as a, uh, as an option. Since I feel like Ziggy is, uh, I like having Ziggy being fast, but at the same time... Bit frail and yeah, probably could hit harder. Okay, let's go for the Dragon Claw here. We should be able to take it out. It's not full health. 
Ah, oh, so close. All right, Dragon Claw. I mean, it is, it is at minus one. I think we actually can take one Dragon Claw. We are. He's going to heal, though. He's definitely going to heal, though. I don't feel like risking it to go for an Ancient Punch or a Meteor Mash, just for the off chance... Oh, Meteor Mash resisted, but just an Ancient Punch, just for the off chance we somehow get an Omni Boost just to go for another Dragon Claw, two Dragon Claws, KO anyway. So, I'm just going to play it safe. He can use up all his full restores at this point for all I care. That is fine by me. Here we go. And do we crit? We don't crit. He's going to heal again, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, spamming healing. I see how it is. I can't really... I can't really complain, though, in good conscience, because, you know, I kind of did that earlier with the whole Blizzard shenanigans, so... You know, that's, that's fine. Another Dragon Claw, that comes down. And of course, now we get a crit. That makes too much sense. Next up is Celebi. All right, uh, let's bring an Entei EX. Okay, so we can go for the Aeroblast now. We should be able to do some serious damage. Probably a 2-hit KO unless we crit. We did not crit. Came really close, though. Psychic. Yeah, it's going to do some damage. What can I say? All right. But, oh, that's bit after drop does kind of suck. All right, I'm going to go for the Ancient Power here. I know he's going to heal. But I know that I also know that air, um, that Aeroblast does enough damage that we can go for that anyway next turn. It'll take it out. So uh, potentially getting the boost here, I think, is worth it. We did not get the boost though, but the plays. The plays. We got played. We just got played. Here, you know what? Here you go. Here you go. I dare you to thunder. Boom. Alright. Too bad we didn't have Ziggy. I would have switched into Ziggy, but we as long as we don't get parried, we should be fine. So now we can go for the cross chop. Because Earthquake is uh, it does get levitate, so we can't earthquake. But cross chop should still do some damage. We didn't get the crit there. Unpaid, I will take it. We'll take it. It's not stab. It is a powerful move, but we got bulk. And the cross chop and magna zone will go down. All right. So next up is Celebi. We're gonna go back into Entei EX. Okay. I mean, the AI does have, uh, it does, it does have its algorithms. <laughs> what can I say? It does, it does make plays. But Aeroblast will take it out. Of course, now we get the crit. Obviously, that did not matter, but Celebi is down. And with that, we defeated Rufus. Wow, you have so much talent for battling. You're quite skilled. Please take this. So with that, we received the antenna. That was a great battle. You're stronger than anyone I face, even throughout history. You certainly have what it takes to be a successful Pokemon trainer. I hope we get a chance to battle again sometime. All right. Now, interestingly, the antenna is, um, it's an item for bug type moves, but obviously he's not a bug type trainer. However, you know, it's still, uh, it's still something. All right, let's go to, I don't know, okay, I guess we'll go to Tree Hill. I want to heal up, though. Let's 
So, we still have a lot more trainers to uh, battle. Alright, I'm going to actually... I'm going to deposit the antenna for now. You know what, I guess also the Ulfur Stone. I don't really need it right now. So, yeah, we got more battles to do, don't we? Uh, I didn't really mean to go to the mark, but, you know, I guess we always can buy more stuff. But, next time we're going to continue battling more of these powerful trainers here in the post game. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Polka Aqua 3. Goodbye.